Now, I don't think I've done one, and I may have, on the top five, John Carpenter's now. Now, of course, uh oh, don't see the price tag, but I've done a mini pearl. I know that some of you may not like John Carpenter's movies. Some do. I'm probably going to disagree with this list, but this is my top five favorite John Carpenter horror sci-fi movies of all time. And hey, I know you guys got opinions. Leave your comments down there if you don't like it. Cuss me out. Tell me what you guys do like. And give me some ideas on maybe on what else to do. Or maybe give me some ideas you may not want me on here and tell me to shut the hell up. I don't know. But anyway, coming in at number five. That's right. 2001. Ghost of Mars. Now, a lot of people may not like Ghost of Mars. I liked it. I thought it was sort of creepy. That music there you just heard, I thought was sort of creepy. Especially this dude. With the piercings and the white face and uh, teeth filed down and he looks like a, you know, hillbilly meth head that filed his teeth down. No, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, th that I thought was scary. And it starred Natasha Henstridge. And believe me, <clears throat> yeah, some Natasha Henstridge, if you know what I'm saying. Ice Cube, not Ice Tea. And it's got Pam Greer, but a lot of people, I don't think, well, some people may, re you know, recognize that Jason Statham's in it, but I think it may, I may be wrong, but I think it might have been his okay. first movie. Then you anyway, coming in at number four, a lot of you may not like this, but I loved it too, not because I liked wrestling some, They Live, that's right, with my man, Hot Rod, rest in peace, Roddy Piper, and Keith David. And the aliens on here, man, look at that. That that, that was funny as hell. And this alien here, I don't know about this alien here. That's actually a picture of me when I wake up in the morning. But that's beside the point. I liked it when that him and Keith David fought to put on the, sungla to put on the sunglasses to see that. That was pretty cool. Then coming in at number three, that's right, we got a Stephen King going, 1983's Christine. Of course, we got Keith Gordon, who didn't play in a whole bunch of movies after this, it seemed like. Uh, Alexandra Paul, she's played on quite a few. John Stockwell, of course. Oh, and this too, and I didn't know this, and this is stupid on my part. That is Kelly Preston, the one that was hot for John Stockwell in the movie. And he is ignorant because I went after Kelly Preston. Evidently, John Travolta did. And then we got the man, Harry Dean Stanton. He was a detective. And of course, what made the movie? The 58 Plymouth Fury. Boom! Especially when it's on far right here. If you can drive a 58 Fury down the road and it's on far, that's awesome. Ah, uh, coming in at number two, and I cannot believe that many people don't like this movie, is the 1982's The Thing. I mean, dude, come on. It's got McCready, which, uh, Kurt Russell, yes, of course. It's got Keith David again. I mean, Keith David is in quite a bit of stuff. And it's got Wilford Brimley. Yes, the Quaker Oats man right there. Yeah, him. Yeah, he's in this. And it's just about a, a thing that adapts. It's an alien from outer space that shapes shifts. You guys probably seen the movie. It's awesome. And uh, the music. Of course, that music that you hear. I love that. And uh, I'm not much on prequels or sequels. One out of a thousand might, might live up even to a quarter of an expectation of what the original one was, if the original movie was good. But I will say this about the prequel to The Thing, the 2011. The ending of it was pretty badass. I liked it. And on to number one. Of course, guys, you know what's coming in. Number one. Cue the music. That's right. 1978. 
Halloween. Of course, he's got Jamie Lee Curtis, obviously. And, of course, Donald Pleasance. And Michael Myers is a namestay in this. And, oh yeah, by the way, that's the old 1978 Michael Myers. And there you go is the new Michael Myers. So you be the judge of that. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time. God bless. Take care. Keep your movies going. Keep watching them. See you later.